Hey guys, uh, this is Nat with the Keeper's Hive, and that's George. Um, today we're going to go back and check on a hive that we showed you uh, a while back. Uh, we started this hive, if you remember, with uh, two nukes. And we put them in here, and uh, I have demoreed them a couple times. And we thought maybe you guys would like to see uh, the results uh, after a couple weeks. So come on in close and I'll show you what the population has grown to. Okay, now as you can see through the observation window, we look like we're doing really well. Okay. Same way over here, Nat. Take a look, Dave. All the all the frames have bee coverage on them in the in the brood chamber. So again, we're well populated on this side too, Nat. No swarms. I don't think either side has swarmed yet this year. No, I have I have demoreed a couple times to prevent swarming. So, uh, and that's why you see the, the supers on top. The top super is the one that I've been using for my exchange box. So here's, here's, the, here's the frame guard, Dave, on this side. You can see that there is some propolis lined up along this edge here and along the edge of the, that, uh, the frame guard. But overall, again, the ends of the frames are, are pretty clear. So we should be able to easily remove the frames out of the, out of the box here. So let's... There's always a little bit of burr comb between the frames where you want to just sort of remove before you before you pull out a frame, just so you don't squish any bees. So there you go. And again, this is frame two in the brood chamber. There's eight frame brood chamber. This is frame two. It's a it's a food frame, but lots of bee coverage and looks great. Nice nice healthy. Nice healthy bees for sure. On this frame, I see some eggs and young larvae. So very, very, very nice frame. Frame number two's got all honey on top and all pollen underneath. Great food stores there. Hey, Dave. Same thing on both sides. Watch. Here's frame three. I'm going to take frame three out of the out of the eight frame brew chamber. I'm just going to use my hands. I'm going to take, go like this, go like this, pull it straight up. Out you go. So simple. So another frame uh, that has some uh, uncapped. Brood larvae on the center of the frame with nice pollen and, and nectar on the sides. So the same thing on, on this frame, just open brood in the middle and honey and nectar on the side. So we look good over here, Nat, as far yeah. as I don't see the queen, but she's clearly laying and, and it looks great. Yeah, my, my frame three has got open brood. Looking great. And I haven't found my queen either, but she's obviously here. I'm only on frame three. No hive tool yet. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna disturb these bees much further, Nat. I mean, on on the brood chamber because uh, we're obviously queen right, and uh, it looks good. You know, the swarm impulse is winding down. It is the middle of June, so I'm not sure if we need to continue to demoree these. You could, uh, if you wanted to continue to push your queen to, to make more bees, you could you could put some uh, drawn uh, foundation into the brood chamber and encourage her to lay, but that's your call, Nat. Um, I, I would sort of, a, a, after the summer solstice, which is today, happy summer solstice, everybody, I would think that the swarm impulse goes way down and the need to continue to demerit also goes down. 
And again, as we've as we told you guys before, what's nice about the keeper's hive is you can get down, and you can inspect your brood chamber without removing any of your supers. We could have um, upwards of 200 pounds in these supers, and we still can access all the frames without removing the 200 pounds. Really, really cool. So clearly, clearly, Nat, we, we, you've been very successful at uh, preventing this hive from swarming with the Demery. So clearly, we, we're running a two-queen two hive where neither, where neither uh, queen has swarmed. So therefore, we have a lot of bees. And, you know, a lot of bees is the first step to make a lot of honey. Okay, guys. So as you see... Um, this is the hive that I don't know if you remember or not, but we started this hive earlier this spring, uh, put two very small new colonies in here, and uh, we've just watched them prosper. And uh, we've, uh, we've demoreed a couple times, and this is showing you just how successful you can be with a two queen hive uh, and how easy it is to manage. Um, neither George or I have had to lift any boxes or anything to go in there and check on our queens. Uh, and they're both doing very, very well. So um, maybe a two queen hive might be something you might want to try. We've shown you how successful these bees are uh, doing inside the two sides of the two queen keeper. Um, what we have here is we have the brood chambers on the bottom. We have the spacer box right on top. And then I have honey supers on top of that. Now, in order to do my demery that we have explained to you guys uh, in the past, I put another uh, deep box on the top with empty frames. And this is the one I use to do my exchanging for the demery. Um, I demoreed the last time a week ago, uh, and this box was just full of empty frames that I used to bring brood up. So I really don't think this is going to have much honey weight in it. Uh, they might surprise me. Uh, normally, it, when I go to harvest honey, people have asked me, well, when you harvest, don't you have to lift the boxes? Well, I don't. Uh, I, what I simply do is, when it comes time to harvest honey, uh, my wife comes with me, and we bring an empty box with us. And I go into the first honey super, and I pull a frame, I shake the bees, and I hand her the frame one at a time. And that's how we harvest our honey. When I handed her the full 10 frames out of the box, I start with this empty box and we go all over again as we work our way down. So I never do lift a full box of honey. That's how I do it.